The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me... Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravewick? Groovewick? Greywoke? It's an odd language. I don't much care for it. Perhaps Betty found herself a burly Viking warrior and went native. Put horns on her hat. Drinks mead out of a chalice. Eats goat meat off the bone. That sort of thing. Teddy, how do you know Betty's still here? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Oh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth's a darb. We all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear, Edward, we will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way just to chase Norway. her down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful and beautiful and so desolate. Like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it, because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland Farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? I believe it's that farmhouse. All the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Wait. The ground's muddy. It's easy to slip and fall. Walk slowly and watch <laughs> out for... Don't be a wet blanket. A little mud never hurt anyone. Fine. Just stay close. As long as you keep up with me. Uh. Dear Mr. Harden, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Uh, trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? So sprach Zarathustra. Teddy, are Wait, you coming? Was, I'm was that German? I'm on my way. Righto. So anyway. Step to it, Teddy Bear. 
Uh, press locate Leslie. Yeah, whatever. Uh, didn't get a chance to say anything. This is Draugr, or at least that's how you pronounce it, I think. Uh, narrative story. And apparently, this guy is, is searching for his sister. I don't know who that little girl is and what is she doing here exactly. Maybe if I would have been paying more attention to the dialogue. But this is definitely something more unique and it kind of takes me off my pacing uh, from all the shooters and, and whatnot. Freetland, Fretland, uh, whatever. Uh, Where are you? F. I'm up at the farm. And as I just noticed right off the bat, you can take decisions like in the boat, you can press what dialogue to choose. It's a bit different from, can I climb this? No. It's a bit different from uh, Mass Effect where the dialogue kind of just pops up. This, this time it's more, I don't know, story-like driven kind of, and it, it looks very good. Immediately you can see the weather has changed and I'm loving the weather effects so far and everything just got more dark all of a sudden and there's a lot of details like you can zoom in with the E. Uh, can I Lizzie. go in here? Can I press? Yeah, we need to find Leslie. All right, let's move it. Shift? No, shift doesn't do anything. I guess we're walking there. No, okay. What is this? Rest? No, I don't want to rest. So how do you rest? Alice. Oh, you just press uh, left. No, no, stop resting. Stop resting. I don't. I don't want. Are you coming? Just oh, God, taking God. a break. Hurry up! Storm's getting close. All right. How do you? Okay, we're done resting. And apparently, I got here from New York, and this is Norway. And this is the start of the game, Drogen. So far, I can tell you this, it's a very beautiful looking game. I don't know how old this guy is and why he needs to rest every five seconds, but I guess we'll find out. Let's just get it on top of the hill. Man, this is beautiful. This is like wallpaper material. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is gorgeous. I knew that I was going to like to play this game because... It looks so, so good. Teddy, this way. Alice. I'm waiting for you at the farm. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? What? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? They might be out fishing. Well, we didn't see any boats, did we? If they are out in the fjord, they'll have to come in soon. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. I'm coming in. 
this is... Uh, this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought... The books are all in English. Isn't that a bit odd? Mrs. Fretland is Scottish, though she grew up in Olesund. Have you been secretly communicating with Johann's winsome wife, Edward Dearest? Certainly not. She was the one who wrote me, because Mr. Fretland's English isn't as... I was only joking. Lighten up, old sport. Don't be such a pill. Look! Family pictures. They must be the... Uh, what did you call them? Oh, uh, how do you select like the, the other one? Tongue. Our hosts. Um, our hosts. No, yeah. silly, their names. Johan and Anna Fretland. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not. <clears throat> Wait, is that? Are they? It, who's? They're all twins. All of them. That. Uh... Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grubin. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewel. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johann's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh, 19. Operations were suspended after the accident. Betty might be with the Fretlands, wherever they are. Wouldn't Anna Fretland have written you? She might have. We left Hanover a month ago. So, this is how I look like, huh? Oof. That's a grim sight, old beam. Alright, let's just... I'm exhausted. He looks creepy. And soaked to the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. What the... Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her That's... scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just looks like... She bought it in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No, I'm... You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Whatever. It's not... Hmm. Look, it is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward. Really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Sit down. Right. That's an order from your commander. Yes. Fine. This is turning like into a detective sort of what are you video doing? game. Come sit down. But I'm loving the details. Like it's just everything. Like you can zoom in and look at every You'll single. You'll feel better crack. after a short rust. Come Shut sit. up. I'm I just doing need it. To, to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill? Well, what if the fret... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down, close your eyes, breathe deeply. I'm just... Fine. Shh. And he's asleep. Elizabeth? Is that you? 
All right, I guess now we're trying to figure out if he's dreaming or if this is reality. Betty? Uh, Lissy? No. Be Lissy, Betty's definitely here? not home. Lissy? No. I'm guessing this is a dream. He's having a dream, right? The picture is still there, the way you left it. Uh, here we go. Where are Anybody you, home? Lissy? Oh, this is definitely Hello? a dream. Hey, who's there? Hey, what's Eddie? up? Elizabeth. So, is this a detective Wait. story or a horror story? I can't tell you because right now I'm a bit jumpy. But the description it said detective story, so <laughs> could be a little bit of both. Lissy, there's someone outside. It might be Betty. Yeah, I don't think it's Betty. Are you let's, here, Lissy? Let's go outside. Who's out there? Hello, Betty. Lissy? What's this? What is this check? I'm not alone. I I don't think that you would be alone, considering this is an island inhabited by probably a lot of locals. So, um, you know, just... There we go. Let's get down there. The funny that I didn't see anyone on my way here. This looked pretty deserted. Des how, how do you say it? deserted? I can hear you, Alice. Alice, where are you? That's not Alice. That's a crow. I'm pretty sure that's a crow. Are you not out there, Alice. Betty? Like I said, it's a crow. Who goes there? Wait. Climb. Yeah. I don't know. Spooky, it's pretty spooky so far. Can we run? Yes, we can. Shift. There we go. Oh. Hey, hey. How did this broke? Seriously? Someone there? Jump. No, you can't jump. Can we pick it up? Oh no, we need to climb. I was mashing space, thinking that he could jump, but it's not an action game. There's no space button. This is definitely getting a bit. Maybe I should have grabbed that log just Hello? in case. Oh, not that's a goat. We're following a goat. Come on, man. Betty, is that you? No, that's a goat. Are you there, Betty? Oh, great! He fell. Ah, uh, I hope he's not breaking his face or anything like that. Pick up, yeah, pick it up. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot he wears glasses. He wouldn't be able to see without him. Elizabeth, are you there? Not Elizabeth, not Betty, not Alice, just the goat. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just the goat. And you are dreaming all of this. Oh, we're actually getting back to the to the place where we started. What the hell is this? The boat, Edward. Where's our boat? Lissy. Where did you go? Why did you leave me? It stopped raining and you were sleeping and... Our boat, it's gone. The boat... what? How? They stole it. Maybe they you stole didn't it. secure it properly. I pulled it up. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... I don't think you tied it. No. Did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I, I think... Betty... It was Betty. I... It was her. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window, and... And she vanished into the dark, towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her and yes. not... I... I mean... I saw her face and... It looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. 
than tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day, Teddy Bear. You'll figure it out. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you, you've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on. We're going back to the house now? Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to climb all the way back. 